and welcome to your practice. As someone pointed out to me, there is an awareness that is building right now, an awareness that is growing, that is waking up. And one of the good things about a yoga practice is that it's really a practice of building awareness, of becoming more aware of what's going on inside, in your body, all the different layers, so that hopefully you have more awareness, for lack of better words at this moment in my brain to use, more awareness, more eyes wide open to all that's going on when you're walking your path off of the mat. So as we come into our practice today, have whatever props that you need to be supportive, um, making sure to listen to your own body's wisdom. If I guide you through anything that doesn't feel appropriate, feel free to modify it. Do what feels good for you, be supportive for you. So taking a comfortable seat, whatever that looks like, it could be back on the heels, it can be on a block, between the feet. So this one can be nice if you're feeling any low back pain, sitting on a block is great. Sitting cross-legged sometimes causes more tweaking and closing in the sacrum. So sitting like that is a bit more open in the low back. But if you feel like sitting cross-legged, feel free to do that. You can also do legs out in front of you. Whatever feels good. Just taking a seat that allows you to sit up nice and tall. Letting the spine grow tall, reaching up through the crown of the head. And roll your shoulders up and back a couple of times. And just noticing at this point in your day, what's showing up in the body. And finally, coming to your seat and closing the eyes, or just taking the gaze down to the floor or your lap, if that feels better. And invite a deep breath in. And sigh out. And take another deep breath in. And let it go. What does it mean to build awareness, to practice having awareness right now? Starting to scan through the different layers of the self, the physical body, the mental body, emotional and energetic. And then settling in on your breath body. Without changing how you're naturally breathing, just follow the flow in and out. Notice where you feel the breath in the body. And then give yourself four deeper breaths, breathing from the belly all the way up to the collarbones. And exhaling from the collarbones all the way down and out through the belly. Breathing into the sides from the hips all the way up to your armpits. And letting it go. And then breathing into the back from your low back into your mid back and upper back. And then let it go. And taking one more deep, slow breath, filling your entire torso. And let it go. And then returning to your natural breath, bringing one hand to heart center, one hand to your belly, sending thanks, sending gratitude for whatever got you on your mat today. Seeing if there's any further intention, dedication, or focus for your practice, your day ahead. Maybe it's around this idea of a building awareness. Or there might be something else that you're being drawn towards or being called towards. Keeping an open mind and heart for things to shift and change down the line. And then releasing the hands back down to the lap, gently dropping the chin, begin to roll the head side to side, ear draws to the shoulder, chin comes back to chest and over to the other side. Noticing what's showing up in the neck and shoulders as you move here. Are there any tight spots or sticky spots that you're finding? Can you breathe into those? And the next time the chin comes towards chest, inhale the head up. Begin to roll through the shoulders again, taking them up, back, and down.
And then bring the palms, forearms, and elbows to touch and circle the elbows out wide. Opening up across the chest, getting into some crickles and crackles in the shoulders. And next time the arms come down, interlace the fingers behind your back. Roll your shoulders back and broaden across the collarbones. Drawing the hands down toward the floor and noticing if you, in doing that, if the ribs just jutted forward, can you draw them back so you're still nice and long through the torso if you haven't gone into this C shape. Then start to bring the arms a bit side to side, getting a little more into one shoulder and then the other. Bring the hands over to the right side, drop the shoulders down, hug your elbows in, drop your right ear to your right shoulder, stretching the left side of your neck a little more. Give it a little nod, yes. And then pause with the ear over the shoulder. Inhale, head up. Bring the hands back behind you. Change the cross so the opposite thumb's on top. And then take the hands over to the other side. Hugging the elbows in, relax the shoulders. Drop the left ear to the left shoulder, stretching through your right side. And then slowly nod. Getting a bit more stretch through the right side of your neck. And then pause with the ear over the shoulder. Inhale the head up. Bring the hands behind you again one more time. Hands draw down to the floor. Roll the shoulders back. Broaden across the collarbones. And then let it go. Give the arms a shake out. Whoa. Inhale, arms up. Circle through wrists. Taking them one way and then the other. And then bring it over to the right, right hand down, left arm reaches over ear, stretch to the fingertips, anchoring down through the legs so you're nice and long through your left ribs, creating space through the waist. As you inhale, come back up and tip over to the other side, left hand down, right arm reaching up and over. Relax the neck and shoulders, anchoring down through your seat and opening up through your right ribs. Inhale, coming up. And one more time over to the right. Maybe going a little further in your stretch. If that doesn't feel like a good move, staying where you were. Relax the neck and shoulders. And then come up and take it over to the other side. And come back up. Reach up tall, interlace your fingers again, invert the palms, stretch them up. And as you reach up through the fingers, can you also drop the shoulders away from the ears? And take it to the right, and take it to the left. Come back through center, bring the arms down, change the cross of the fingers, invert the palms again, take them up, and this time twist it to the right, Come back through center, twist it to the left. Back to center, release down, and give it all a shake out again. Blah, 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 blah. Remove any props, take the legs out in front of you, and give them a little wiggle and a shake. Point and flex through your toes, getting some movement through the feet. Circle through ankles, one way and then the other. And then use both your feet to write your name. Just getting the feet to move around in as many angles as possible. And then write your name backwards, just to make sure you're still awake. And then give the legs a little shake out again. Bend the knees, bring the feet wide, let your knees fall side to side. And 
Next time, the legs come over to the right. Left arm comes out in front of you and sweeps back. Inhale, coming back through center. Over to the other side, right arm sweeps back. Inhale, center. Exhale, sweep it to the right. And center. And to the left. So just moving side to side like this at your own pace. Follow your breath. Have your inhales and exhales be what lead you here. Getting a little twist and opening through the spine. Next time you come over to the right side, you can either stay with what we're doing, or you can go a little further, pressing into the knees, lifting the hips and reaching up and back. And then come down over to the other side, doing what we've been doing with hips down or lift the hips up, pressing into the knees, the hand, reach up and back. One more time to each side with either variation, whatever works for you today. Just getting a little movement through the body, build awareness of what's showing up today. And then come back through center, bring the feet together, knees nice and wide. Hold on to the leg somewhere. And as you inhale, arc open. Exhale, curl in. Inhale, arc open. And curl back in. And again, arc open. And curl in. Come back to a neutral spine. Bring the hands to the outside of the legs. Draw them together. Feet come over to one side as you help yourself up to a tabletop. In your tabletop, notice if the knees feel sensitive, place a blanket or a pillow underneath them. If the wrists feel sensitive, stack on your shoulders. You can work on fists. You can roll the edge of your mat up so the heels of the hands are a little more elevated. If the hands are down, spread the fingers nice and wide. I'm going to work with a little rolled mat so you can see what that looks like. So just the heels of the hands are lifted, so there's a little less of an angle in the wrist. Fingers are spread wide. Then sweep the feet to the right. Look over your shoulder at your feet in a C curve. Come back through center. Take it over to the other side. And center. And to the right. And center. And to the left. Come back through center. Take the right leg back, toes curl under on the floor, press back through the heel, stretch out the calf. Pressing the hands away from you to get a little more stretch into the back of the leg. And then staying there for a few deep breaths. And then gently release the knee down. And doing the other side, curling left toes under, press back through the heel, stretch out the calf, maybe getting a little stretch into your foot as well. Pressing the hands away from you to get more of a stretch if you'd like. And staying there for a few deep breaths. And then gently release the knee down. Walk your hands out in front of you some more. Come forward, lowering down onto your belly. Arms come down by the sides of the chest. Roll the shoulders back. Reach out through your toes to help elongate through the legs and the lower back. Inhale, lift the head, shoulders, heart. Take the hands off the floor using more of the muscles in the back body. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, coming up again, hands hover, and lower down. One more time, coming up, and release. Pressing the hands, come back up to a tabletop. Bring your knees wider apart, big toes to touch. Reach the hips back for heels, child's pose. And take a deep breath in here, and sigh out. Taking a moment to tune in again, welcoming all that you find inside. 
no need to change anything. Can you have space for it all? Can you welcome it all? And then walk your hands over to the right, stretching for your left ribs once more. Come back through center. Take it over to the other side. Open up through your right ribs. And back to center. Spread the fingers wide. Inhale, come up. Curl your toes under. Bring the hips back again. Stretching open the bottoms of your feet. And then release the toes. Walk your hands towards you, rolling up. Right hand is going to come back behind you, either on the floor or a block. Left arm is going to reach over at an angle as you lift your hips, reaching towards the right top corner. Exhale, come down. Left hand down to the floor or block. Hips lift. Right arm reaches to the, to the back left corner. And lower down. Over to the right again, hips lift, open up, and release. And over to the left, reach to that top left corner, and release. Bring your hands forward again, coming back into your tabletop. Inhale, arc open. Exhale, curl. And arc open. And curl. One more time, arc open, and curl. Come back to neutral, left arm reaches high, stretch up through fingers, give them a little wiggle. Circle through the wrists, letting the gaze and the head go in whatever direction feels best for your neck. Going one way and then the other. Then reach the arm up tall, exhale, take it down. Inhale, the right arm high, stretch up tall, give the fingers a little wiggle. Do a little circle through the wrist, and again, the gaze, the head can go in whatever direction feels best for your neck. Going one way, and then the other. And release down. Inhale, left arm up again. And this time as you exhale, thread it under the right, bringing the shoulder and head down towards the floor. Inhale, coming up again, reach up tall. Exhale, thread under. One more time like that, reach tall. And then bring the hand down to the ground. Inhale, left arm up, stretch up through fingers. Exhale, thread it under the left, bring shoulder and head down. Inhale, come up again. Exhale, thread under. Last time, sweeping up tall. And then bring the hand down to the ground. Curl the toes under. Lift the knees just to a hover. Just building a bit of heat here. Pressing down through fingers or fists if the wrists are feeling sensitive. And then lower down and bring the hips back to heels. Inhale, rocking forward. Exhale, take it back. And rock forward. And take it back. Inhale, coming forward. Walk your hands forward. Lower down onto your belly again. Extending the legs back to find that space in the low back. Lengthen your legs. Walk your hands out in front of you a good foot and a half or two feet wider than your mat, elbows high. Pressing down through the fingers, lift the head, shoulders, heart. And turn to look over one shoulder and then the other. Come back through center, lower down. Walk your hands back towards you a little bit. Inhale, come up again. Either same height or maybe coming a little higher. And turn to look one way. Turn to look the other. 
Come back through center, lower down. Last time we'll be moving those back towards you a bit. And now they're coming up same height or maybe a little higher, peeling another set of ribs off the floor. And turn to look one way and then the other. Come back through center. Lower yourself down, making a pillow with the hands or just resting on your cheek. Bend the knees, bring the feet in the air and sway them side to side like windshield wipers. Let go any tightness, any tension in the hips or low back. And then gently release the legs down. Hands come to land by the sides of the chest again. Press yourself up to a tabletop. Hands can stay on the floor or move up onto blocks if you'd like a bit more space to work with. And step your right foot through. Walking the toes forward enough so that as you start to sink your hips down, the knee is coming over the ankle. It's not going past your ankle. And the hips are moving forward so that this back knee isn't right underneath your hips. Left hand or fist stays down. Right hand comes to the right knee, press into the knee and twist to the right, gazing out over that top shoulder. And staying here for a couple of breaths, breathing into your twist, noticing what you're aware of in this shape. Where do you feel the breath in the body? Where are you feeling the shape in your body? And then gently release. Bring the right arm on the inside of the leg, walking the foot off to the side. Toes can point off to the corner. And then sinking down a bit more here. Rock a bit side to side. Relaxing, letting go in the hips. And you can stay with straight arms, or you can bring bent arms onto blocks, or maybe they come all the way down to the floor. So whichever way works for you, this is one option. And keeping that sway going if it feels good. You relax that space between your shoulder blades. You're not a little turtle back here, lengthening through the spine. Hmm. And then press into the hands coming back up. Bring your hands to frame the front foot again, pulling the hips back. Move the front leg towards straight with the fingers or fists on the floor or your blocks. Flex the toes towards you. Then turn the foot in and out. Pause the toes straight up, step the foot back, roll on up through the spine. Inhale, arms high, take hold of your left wrist, pull up and over to the right as your hips are sent to the left. And then come back up, switch the hold, holding the right, pulling up and over to the left, hips sway to the right slightly. And up. Arms come out and down, bring the hands to your low back, starting to press the hips forward as you lift up through the heart. Chin can stay tucked to keep the length in the back of the neck. Hug the shoulder blades towards each other, hug your elbows towards each other. As you breathe in, have the heart lead the way, coming back up, and then bringing the hands to the floor as you step your left foot through, hands on the floor or blocks, sink the hips low, and again looking to see that front knee isn't going over the ankle, making any adjustments you need here, sway a bit side to side. And then keeping either right hand or fist on the floor or block, left hand comes to the knee, press into the knee and twist, gazing out over that top shoulder. 
Staying here for a few breaths. Notice where you can soften a bit. Breathing deeply, letting the breath be nice and slow. And then gently unwind. Bring the left hand on the inside of the leg. Walk your toes off to the left a bit more, facing out to the corner. And then swaying here a bit, letting the hips release. Getting a little deeper into this position. And then your choice if you stay with straight arms, you may come down forearms on blocks, or you might come all the way to the floor. Cool. It's been a while since I've done this one. Feels pretty good. Swaying a bit side to side again. And then bringing attention into your back. And then if you feel like you have a curled up little turtle back, can you melt that space between your shoulder blades down? Staying here for a couple of breaths, softening through the face, the jaw, the tongue. And then pressing into the hands, come back up. Bring the hands to frame the front foot. Starting to pull your hips back, walking your hands or blocks back as the front leg moves towards straight and you flex those toes back towards you. Turn the toes side to side. Feel the hip rise and fall in the socket. And then pause and center. This time walk your hands forward Curl your back toes under, lifting the knee off the ground. Bending the back knee, hop the back foot to meet the front. Hanging here in a standing forward fold, feet are hip distance apart, which is about two fist width between the feet. Knees bent as much as they need to be so the torso can release. The head can be nice and heavy, shoulders soft. Go ahead and shake your head, yes, yes, yes. And no, no, no. Can you be in this practice? Can you be here right now? And as you inhale, come halfway up, sliding the hands up the legs, lengthen through the spine. Exhale, fold. Inhale, coming halfway up again, lengthen through the spine. And fold. Bend the knees, roll all the way up. Take your time to get there. When you come all the way to the top, sweep your arms out and up. Take hold of your left wrist again, pulling up and over to the right as the hips go slightly left. And as you inhale, come up. Change the hold, holding the right, pull up and over to the left. Hips go slightly right. Inhale up. Arms come out and down, bend the knees, bring the hands to the low back. Straightening your legs again, press the hips forward, heart lifts up, open through the front body. Hug the shoulder blades, elbows towards each other. Deep breath in and out. This one can feel really nice if you have any low back pain. Just making sure you're not going to the point of any pain in the back. So if you're feeling pain here, come up a little bit more. Don't go as deeply into it. Hmm. And then come back up. Release the arms, give them a little shake. Shake out the legs as well, the hips, the shoulders, the head. Bring your feet a little wider, arms come out wide. Do a little test run that you're not gonna whack any furniture or a friend or the wall. And begin to let the arms flop side to side. And as you twist here, the heels can lift, going a little deeper into your twist. Let your arms be nice and heavy. Relax the shoulders. And just starting to straighten out the little nerves along the spinal column. How much can you let go here? Letting go, not just in the physical body, but in the brain. Let your breath release, relax. 
Ah. And starting to slow the movement down until it finds its own stopping point. Like a washing machine finally stopping. Eyes can close or the gaze can come to the floor again. And feeling that tingling in the fingers and arms as the energy swirls and settles. And then blinking the eyes open again, walk your feet a little closer together. And standing firmly on your left foot, lift your right foot off. If balance is tricky on whatever day you're practicing this, you can come to a wall and have a hand on the wall on the side or out in front of you. And then noticing that front foot or that hovering foot. So you don't want it to be this floppy foot, either having it flexed or pointing, just being deliberate one way or the other. If that hip is hiking, can you drop the hip down, bring the arms out, having soft shoulders, elbows, wrists, and body keep tossing the crane pose. Playing with your balance here, feeling those little movements through the foot and the standing leg to allow you to balance. Knowing that if you get too rigid, that's usually when we fall over. So a reminder to be able to move so we can find our balance. And if you want to play a little bit more, start to bend your standing knee and then straighten. And bend and straighten. Bend and straighten. One more time, bend and straighten. Bring your hands to your hips. So to tip forward as you take that right leg back, slowly lowering it down into a high lunge or crescent pose. Arms sweep up tall. Relax the shoulders down. Exhale, come forward, arms sweep back. One more time like that, come up. And sweep back. Inhale up. And then bring the elbows out wide, hug the shoulder blades towards each other in the back, nice and broad across the collarbones. Inhale, front leg straightens, arms reach tall. Exhale, bend. And reach tall. And bend. Bring your hands to your hips. Lower that back knee all the way down. Take any cushion if you need to. Hands can come down to the floor and slide that knee back. Or you can walk your toes forward of the front foot or a little bit of both. Sink your hips down. Bring the hands to stack on the front knee, peeling yourself away from the thigh. And then take your arms out in front of you and if you were like rowing a boat, start to draw the arms back, hugging the shoulder blades towards each other. Inhale forward, exhale pull back. Inhale forward, pull back, rowing a boat. Exhale, pull back. Last time forward and pull back. Staying there, release your oars, stretch the arms up tall. And then bring the hands down. Curl the toes under, lift the knee off the ground. Walk your hands around to the wide side of your mat, toes face forward, and then keep going all the way to the other side. Bend the back knee, hop the back foot to meet the front. Inhale, come halfway up. Exhale, fold. Bend the knees, roll all the way up. Take your time. When you come to the top, Separate the feet some more and do some little empty coat sleeves side to side. Heels can lift as you twist. Let the arms be nice and heavy, flopping by the sides of the body. Relax your shoulders. Let the breath smooth out. Soften through the face, the jaw, the tongue. And start to slow down the movement, letting it find its own stopping point. 
when you finally stop, pause there. Eyes can close again or just take the gaze down. Feeling that tingling in the fingers and arms. Noticing, tune in. What do you feel here? What do you notice inside in the physical body, in the thoughts and emotions? And then blink the eyes open again. Walk your feet closer together. And then standing firmly on your right foot, lift your left foot. And if you need that wall again, go find a wall to help you balance. And deciding whether you're pointing your left foot or flexing the right, the left foot, just being deliberate. As you take your arms out wide with soft shoulders, elbows, and wrists, and your body kikasana crane pose. Long through the spine and the neck, reaching up tall through the top of the head, feeling those little wibbles and wobbles of the standing foot and leg. That movement that's needed, that flexibility of movement that's needed so you don't fall over. And how true is that off the mat as well, that when we, when we become too rigid, that's when things go wrong. And if you want to play with your balance some more, beginning to bend your standing knee. And then straightening. And bend. And straighten. And how is this side different than the first in terms of your balance? How does it feel in the legs on this side? Usually we have one side that's more strong, one side that's easier to balance on. Is it this one? Was it the other one? And then bring the hands to your hips. Start to tip forward as you take that left leg back. Touch down in your crescent lunge. Feet are hip distance or a little wider if you need some more stability. Bending that front knee, knee, sweep the arm tall. Exhale, come forward, arms sweep back. One more time like that. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, back. Inhale, arms up. And then bend the elbows out wide. Hug those shoulder blades towards each other again, nice and strong in your upper back. Breathing in, straighten the front leg, reach tall. Exhale, bend. Inhale, reach tall. And bend. Hands come back to the hips and gently lower your back knee. Take any support you need. Hands come down to the floor, moving that knee back a little bit more or walking your front toes forward so you can sink your hips. Making the adjustments you need here. And then bring the hands to land on that front knee, peeling yourself away from the thigh. Relax the shoulders down. Arms come out in front of you. Then again, find those oars. Take hold of the oars. And begin to row your boat. Hug the shoulder blades nice and strong in the back. Squeeze it all in. And come back out. Inhale, take it back. Exhale, forward. I'm doing that a few more times. Broadening across the collarbones as you draw the arms back. Squeeze the back muscles. Last time, squeeze it in. And then reach up tall with the hands. Exhale the hands down. Curl the back toes under. Lift the knee up. Walk your hands around to the wide side. Pivot the feet. And then pause there. Left hand stays down. Right arm reaches high. Twist open. Exhale down. Right hand down. Left arm high. Twist open. And down. Walk your hands all the way around to the front of your mat. Pivoting the feet. Lower your back knee down. Step the front foot back. Hips stay stacked over the knees as you walk your hands out. Heart melting down towards the floor in a puppy pose. And as you touch down here, the forehead may rest on the ground. It might not. It may just be hovering. If the shoulders are feeling tight, bring the elbows to rest down. And then melt the heart some more. 
I'm just feeling that opening through the front body. Take a deep breath in. And sigh out. <sighs> Pressing the hands, come back up. Walking your hands towards your knees. And then bring the hips down to one side and extend your legs long out in front of you. Sliding yourself so you're halfway down your mat. Lower down onto your back. Just take a moment there on your back. One hand on the heart, one hand on the belly. Eyes can close again. Feet on the floor with the knees bent. Just take a moment to settle in here. Relax the muscles of the spine along the floor. Soften the shoulders. Let your head be heavy. What are you aware of now? What are you noticing through the body? What's going on in the mind? Where are your emotions? And again, making space for all of that showing up. Let the experience be whatever it is. No need to force it to go anywhere in particular. Take one more deep breath here and let it go. And then walk to your feet so they're hip distance or closer together. Arms are either down straight by the side with the palms down, or you can do this with bent elbows on the floor, palms facing each other, fingers reaching up tall. I like this variation. I feel like I can open my shoulders some more, but it really is a matter of experimenting what works for you today. And as you press into the feet and the arms, begin to lift your hips off the ground. Exhale, lower down. And again, pressing down through the arms and the feet, lift the hips up. And lower down. Last time, lift the hips up, feeling the legs engaged here. And a little hug of the knees towards each other to engage the inner thighs. Walk your shoulders underneath you some more. Walking elbows, arms underneath you some more. Broadening across the chest. And as you open up here, feel that length through the spine as the knees go in one direction past your toes and your heart goes in another direction past your nose. Feeling all that space, breathing here. And staying for five deep, full breaths. Try not to rush it. Feeling that strength in the legs and the back. <sighs> and just paying attention to your own breath here. So we might end at different times depending on how deep your breath is. So after your fifth breath, Start to come down, but this time, let your hips come down first. So you keep that arc in the spine. And then once the hips land, release the rest of the back. Walk your feet a little wider. Let your knees hit towards each other. And bring the hands to rest again on the belly, on the heart. Inviting a deep breath in. And side out. Knees start to gently sway side to side. Moving things out of the way so your knees have full range to come down towards the floor. And the next time the knees come over to the left, pause there. The legs just get heavier for a moment, feeling some more stretch to that top hip. And then bring your arms out nice and wide in a T. Palms facing up, nestling the shoulder blades down the back for a terrific rest of your day.
And then start to slide your left, your right knee up rather, to land on your left. And then if you want to, you can hug your knees in closer towards you, or you can keep them down more. Just noticing what that does for your twist. Left hand can come and rest on the legs, just making contact, and then turning the head away from the knees if it's comfortable for your neck. Eyes can close, bringing the attention back inside. And with each breath, can you soften a little bit more, relax the fingers, let the arms be heavy, shoulders soft. Feeling the movement of the breath through the torso in your supine twist. And then bring the head back to center. Arms come wide. Inhale, knees back to center. Bring the feet down to the floor again and let the knees sway side to side. Pause the next time you're over to the right. Let the knees get heavier here towards the floor. Getting a little more stretch through that top hip. Then start to slide your left knee up towards your right, stacking the legs. And either staying there or you can hug the knees in closer towards you. Whatever feels better in your twist. Right hand can come to me, contact with the legs. Relax the shoulders. And then letting the head turn away from the knees if that feels good in your neck. And staying on this side for a few deep breaths. Breathing here, letting things just start to melt away in your supine twist. Do you notice here without any judgment, without any analysis? What are you just aware of? What can you observe? Bring the head back to center, arms wide. Inhale, knees back to center. And then give them a little hug as you rock side to side, massaging at the back. Shoulders and head still nice and heavy towards the floor. And then beginning to shift into your final posture of Shavasana. Taking any props or layers you'd like here. So I'm going to do a bit of a neck roll with my blanket here. So having a flatter blanket, I'm just making a little roll for my neck, which I feel really nice and spacious in the back of the neck. Take my little shirt so I don't get cold. As the body temperature tends to drop as we relax, just making sure you're not chilly at the get-go. And then adjusting what you need to to get nice and cozy here. Arms resting wherever they feel most comfortable. If they're down by the sides, just turning the palms to face up so the shoulder blades can nestle down and the heart is still open. Eyes closing, settling in their sockets. Taking a deep breath in from the feet all the way to the top of your head. And exhale from the top down. Another time, big breath in. And at the top of the breath, hold it in. Take a little sip of air more. 
and then let it all go. One more big breath in. Fill the body up and let it all go. Let the bones get heavy and sink into the floor. The muscles soften their grip on the bones. The skin softens its grip on the muscles. Giving yourself this opportunity to pause to rest and recharge so that you're in a better mindset, better situated when you get off of your mat to go on with the rest of your day. Start to bring a soft attention back to the breath. No 
noticing the movement of the breath in and out. Shifting your attention to that part of you that is the observer, the witness. Without any judgment, just observing yourself resting here on the floor. And what are you aware of right now? And inviting in a fuller, more energizing inhale. Followed by a soft, smooth exhale. Beginning to bring back any little movements that feel natural. We might start with a wiggle of fingers and toes. There might be a stretch calling your name. We just gently begin to bring attention back to the surface. And when you're ready, bending one knee and the other, bring the feet to the floor. Letting your head gently sway side to side. And then turning on over to one side and resting there for a moment in this transition. And in any way that feels sweet, that feels supported, Start to help yourself on up to a comfortable seat. Keeping the eyes closed, you're just having a soft, fuzzy gaze as you come all the way back up to a comfortable seat. You're noticing when you come back to your seat, any shifts or changes having gone through your practice. What does it feel like sitting here now, and what are you sitting with? Bringing one hand to heart center, other hand comes to rest on top of it. Bowing the head towards hands and heart. Thank yourself for showing up, for playing yoga today, and giving yourself this gift of time on your mat. May you continue to build your awareness. May it continue to grow. For the sake of the world around us, and all inside you as well. Inhale the head back up and bow to the wonder and to the wisdom within you. Namaste. Thank you all so much. Hope you enjoy your practice. Hope you enjoy the rest of your day. And I'll catch you next time. Bye.